สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. If you are a lover of clams and mussels, today's recipe is going to be perfect for you. We're going to make clams steamed in a coconut lemongrass broth, very much like tom kha gai, that famous chicken soup that I have a recipe for. Yeah, so if you like that soup, this is going to be awesome. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make the broth that we're going to steam the clams, and as you'll see, it's very similar to just a standard tom kha gai broth. We're going to start out with some coconut milk. You can add more or less depending if you want it richer or lighter. Some people like a richer broth, and other like. Others like a lighter broth, so that's completely under your control. And I'm also going to add some chicken stock to lighten that up. All coconut milk is a little bit much, so in that goes. And then now all of our herbs are going to be our standard lemongrass. I've got here one stalk of lemongrass that I've crushed the same way I normally do for my tom yum and tom ka, and then just cut them into chunks like this. Of course, our galangal. Now, galangal, for those of you who don't know, um, it's a rhizome, kind of like a ginger, has a really nice woodsy pine forest kind of smell. Just a few going in there, and then lime leaves. Today, I've got the biggest lime leaves I've ever seen in my life. So, what you want to do is just tear into big chunks, just like that, and then leave out the stems. Mmm, I love the smell of lime leaves. Mmm. I wish they made car fresheners, car air fresheners with lime leaf flavored. There we go. So we've got that, and now for a little heat, I'm gonna do some chopped Thai chilies. This is optional, but I recommend it. It's not gonna end up being super spicy, but it adds that just a little kick that makes it a little more interesting. And then I'm also gonna add some shallots. Um, this normally doesn't go into tom kha, but I think it adds a nice sort of. Texture and color and and a little extra sweetness. So I'm also going to add some palm sugar. Just I want to add it now so that it has some time to dissolve. Just some chopped palm sugar. We're gonna add some lime juice towards the end. So this sweetness is, will be really important in helping us balancing the overall flavor. Just gonna bring that to a boil. Keep it covered. And then while this is going, let's talk about the clams. All right, time to talk about our hero of the dish. I've got clams today. You can do mussels if you want. It's just the place I go to buy my shellfish. The mussels didn't look too great today, but I think clams actually work really well with the flavor of coconut milk. So what you want to do about clams? You make sure you want to wash them, clean them. If you are buying clams that have not been purged of their grits, you want to. Take care of that as well by soaking them in salt water. I'll include more details about how to deal with clams um, in the written recipe. And the most important thing that you make sure of now is that the clams are not dead. So the way you know is if you see one that's open, like this guy. Oh, this guy is also open. And then you just kind of like say hello to him a little bit. And eventually, if you see them moving or closing, that means they are still alive. But if they're like Not responding to you, then obviously they're dead, and you want to throw throw them away. Like this guy here, hello, and then you can see he's slowly, slowly retracting his siphons, those tubes that he sticks out, and then eventually he closes, and then you can't force him open. Um, they're a little bit zonked out right now. I think I've had them for quite some time, so let's get started. Um, make sure you scrub them really well. If they feel slimy, sometimes I buy clam and they feel kind of slimy. Don't want that in your food. All right, so now our broth is almost there. So now <laughs> goodbye, clammies, and thank you. Um, just dump in the clams, and then cover them, and make sure the heat is high so it's vigorously going. And within three to five, within three minutes, most of them should be open. So while our clams are going, now is a good time to prep our delicate herbs that we're going to toss it in at the end. I'm going to go with um, cilantro today, just because I really like that freshness that it adds. But you can also do green onions and whatnot. Hmm, they're going. Um, just rough chop because if you do them too fine, you're gonna they're gonna wilt a little bit too quickly. So you want to keep them in big-ish pieces, and I include the stems because the stems are really aromatic. In fact, they are more aromatic than the leaves. And this is this dish is kind of a rustic dish anyway, so having stems and parts and stuff in there is nice. So I can see this is the benefit of having a clear lid. 
I can see that most of my clams are open. I still have a few that are not open. It hasn't really been three minutes yet. So exciting. Yeah, there you go. Just give it a quick toss just to check that most of them truly are open. And now you notice I didn't add any salting agents. I'm turning this off now. I didn't add any salting agents in here because the broth that the clams eject is going to be pretty salty. So I have some fish sauce on hand just so in the end if it needs a little extra saltiness I'll add it. But for the most part I find that I don't really need to add any extra. Mm. 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 Perfect. Don't need to add any more saltiness it's perfect but I am going to add two tablespoons of lime juice it's gonna be so important to this to this dish it's gonna sort of mellow out the the fishiness that shelf that clams have and it's just gonna make this a lot more refreshing and bright and fresh and I'm also gonna throw in my cilantro give this a quick toss as well okay I really needed a bigger pot for this <laughs> I, I usually use a bigger pot, but I figured eh, I can get away with this one. Swirl it around a little bit so it gets the lime juice gets distributed. Oh yes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, so good. Okay, let's plate it up. By the way, that was so fast. So fast. Once you've got all your stuff prepped up, this goes so quickly. So you can leave it to the last minute until your guests are there and ready to eat you're good to go now as you can see the broth is a little bit lighter now that the clams have released all their juices so if you want something a little richer by all means add more of the coconut milk but i think when you when i eat shellfish like clams and mussels i do want it to be on the light and refreshing side so make great appetizers so i like to keep it light douse it with the broth now you want to have some bread or some rice ready or something to use to soak up this delicious broth douse this clam in this wonderful broth mm. Mm. oh god you're sitting on a patio with a glass of white wine, with some grilled baguette to dip it into this broth. Oh, so perfect. I know that scenario doesn't sound very Thai, but trust me, this will work. And so easy, so fast, and really quite elegant, something you can really use at your next party. So I do hope you give this one a try. And when you do, let me know how it goes. You can connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And as per usual, the recipe will be on hotthaikitchen.com. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.